Okay, we're going to do a comparison on the Power Grind Pro. The J Cordage Power Grind Pro. So we're doing exactly one pound of carrots. Power on. I've increased the speed like three or four hundred percent just to uh, make this go quicker. There's some pulp flying around there. We'll leave it uh, empty out for another 30 seconds or so. We've got almost 300 milliliters of juice. And we'll get a little strainer here. Just under 300 milliliters we got here. We'll put in the sieve. We'll see if we got any pulp left in the sieve. There's very little foaming action, which is a good thing. Tiny bit of pulp, not much. Then we'll take this apart. A lot of pulp residue in the top. The pulp is fairly wet from this unit. Let's see how much pulp we end up with. The pulp is 11.4 ounces. Okay, now we're doing the champion. Again, one pound of carrots, just like before. Champion feeds quite a bit easier. Once again, we increased the speed about three to four hundred percent to speed up this process. Okay, to check on the pulp, we've actually got to take the machine apart because quite a bit of the pulp stays inside. So we've got to. Disassemble it. Okay, clean the pulp off the blade first of all. Pulp still fairly moist. Okay, and then we take off the uh, attachment here. Take off the screen, which is definitely full of pulp. And then the inside has got a fairly good amount of pulp stuck in the hopper. The little piece of carrot that didn't get ground, tiny piece of carrot, maybe an eighth inch thick, that didn't get ground at the end. And then I'll just knock it all the, uh, get the rest of the chute here. Just 
for a fair comparison. Okay, and then we can go and we'll weigh the pulp. So about how much we get, about 300 milliliters of pulp. The weight is 13.0 ounces of pulp. 13.0. Compared to the Power Grind Pro, 11.3. The Power Grind Pro actually uh, has about 1.7 ounces less of pulp weight. Now let's see how it's going to go as far as volume. Okay, next, we'll get the whole sieve again. We'll see how much pulp we got left in the that came out of the juice. Okay, we'll do a little straining. Quite a bit. This leaves quite a bit more pulp in the juice the way it looks. A little more. And it does do more full walls on the juice, as I know. Okay, that is, that's pretty much it for the juice. There's the foam and the pulp results. We got just under 300 milliliter, about one, no, maybe 280 milliliter. And the weight is 15.2 ounces from the Champion Juicer. And once again, one pound. One tenth ounce, almost well, 290 milliliter from the J. Cornish juicer. So a bit over 290. A little more juice, a little less pulp waste, weight, so there's a little bit less weight. You know, the taste, the taste is any different. They both taste quite good. This one's maybe a little bit more woody tasting, the one from the Champion Juicer. The Cordage is a little bit sweeter tasting. Now for the fun of it, I'm going to just put this Champion back together once. So, get the strainer back on, get the catcher back on, and let's just turn this on again and see what we can get out of the pulp. This is from the Cordage Juicer running the pulp through a second time. Basically, we got maybe an ounce. Hardly worthwhile, probably. Redoing, we got about 1.3 ounces of extra juice. Doesn't taste, doesn't taste as good. Definitely does not taste as good running through a second time. Okay, now we're going to do the green, mainly greens through the Champion Juicer. We've got about 20, almost 16 ounces of uh, almost one pound of greens. And we've got about 25.6 ounces total because we got a few carrot pieces and apples to help wash the greens through. Turn the chance reducer on. We got kale, we got endive, and we've got uh,
once again we speed this video up about 600 percent so it's not so painful to watch one observation I need to make is that both the Champion Juicer and the Power Grind Pro end up with a fairly wet pulp, which in my opinion, it gets fairly, fairly costly if you're juicing organic. You're probably losing about, probably about 50% of the weight of the pulp could actually be juice if you had an efficient juicer. So our pulp is about 300 milliliters again. Pulp weight, six ounces. Lost some there. Quite a bit of foam. Got one pound, 1.1 ounces, and most of what's spilled, spilled on the scale, so it's about 450 milliliters, just a touch over 450 milliliters, just a touch over. Okay, now we're set to do a power grind for a pro. I want to note the video is being sped up by 600% once again. Note that this uh, juicer, Power Grind Pro, is a centrifugal juicer, which it does not keep as many of the enzymes and nutrients as the masticating juicer, such as a Champion. Although the centrifugal juicer does move at a slower RPM than most centrifugal juicers, which is a plus. I slow the video oh, down because you see a neat splattering flying out towards the camera. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. 
just a smidgen over 450 milliliters. We can use a small sieve for this because there's much less film and pulp. Goes through pretty easily. There you go. Got a little bit of pulp in there, not too bad. So just above 450 milliliters, right about 450 milliliters, which is about 16 ounces, one cup. Cordage juice. Cordage juicer, six point nine ounces of pulp. About four hundred fifty milliliters, six point nine ounces. Colors are similar. Again, the cordage tastes a little bit better. It's a little bit cooler also. Champion builds up a little bit of heat when it's doing this. Working primarily with greens, the Champion seemed to do a little better job. Gave a little bit more in volume and just over an ounce more juice. It appears that when you are doing greens, the Champion does heat the juice a little bit, which probably isn't as good for the enzymes. Outside of that, uh, it's got a little more woody taste also. The, the, the Power Grind pearls seem to have a bit better taste. Outside of that, machines are pretty comparable. I hope this juicer comparison video was of some help, and please give this video a thumbs up if you're happy with it and subscribe to see my very diverse variety of videos I have on my YouTube site. Thank you for watching. God bless.